Peace family. This is Daku. Today I want to share with you a garden hack to deal with your snails and your slugs. The other day we told you that you can simply come out early in the morning before these snails go in for the day as the snails and slugs typically eat at night and then they rest during the day. Come out early in the morning you find the snails and slugs on the leaves of your leafy green vegetables and you just pick them off and throw them away all right throw them far away from your garden or at least far away from your leafy green vegetables all right that's one way to deal with them of course the other way is to deal to deal with them is by using um, pesticides but you don't want to deal you don't want to use pesticides unless it's the last resort all right and I don't want to ever say never because the whole purpose of growing food is so that you don't have to depend on anyone else to feed your family. You can feed your family yourself. You can feed your people yourself. So if you find that none of the garden hacks that you learn help you to deal with the snails and slugs and other um, garden pests, if you will, to use a common term, then your last resort might be to use pesticides but of course I would say start with the organic pesticides if you got to use pesticides at all I like the idea of laying traps okay you set your traps and you're not killing all your beneficial insects along with those that you consider pests you're only catching the ones that you don't want in your garden and then you can do away with them all right so what is the garden hack you ask you simply Buy some grapefruit if you're not growing them yourself. And I'm in zone 7 in D.C. So you know we don't grow grapefruit in the D.C. area. Alright, so I gotta buy them. And it's worth the investment. You buy your grapefruit, you cut it in half, you eat it out. And then you place it as a dome at the base of your greens like so. Alright, and then you come out. If you're not an early riser like me, you can come out later and you'll find that the snails and the slugs have found a nice little home inside of your grapefruit. And here's an example. Here's an example right here. All right. Let's see if I can get a better shot than that. It's trying to hide from me. That's a <laughs> that's a slug right there. It's trying to hide. Let me move these move the fruit away a little bit so you can see the slug there it is that's the slug that was eating on my fruit this morning I'm sorry eating on <laughs> my greens it was eating on the fruit after it finished with the greens but that's okay that's the trap so you, you set the trap you let them come in at night they're gonna eat some of your greens so you're gonna have to grow enough that it's not a big issue and then you set the trap but let me go closer to show you on another leaf here because I've been picking quite a bit of slugs off I don't have enough grapefruit I'm gonna have to go invest in some more grapefruit let's move over a little closer zoom in here another slug okay and if you see this one slugs really tan this one up that collard green plant is really planted a little too close to this one so I kind of planted it as a decoy so the slug can eat that one the slug can eat this one I'm still going to catch it because I don't want that slug to make its way over to my bigger babies <laughs> all right so we still going to lay the trap again get yourself a, a grapefruit cut it in half eat it Turn it over, use it as a dome, and then you will catch your slugs the next day. This has been Daku. I hope this tip has been helpful. Peace.